Good morning. I'm a day late because I had the grandchildren yesterday. So we'll do our tour today. First I wanted to show you my sign that I made this past winter that my husband finally put up above my gate. It looks crooked but he informs me that it is level. It's just the ground is crooked so <laughs> it's okay. I like it. It looks good. So, welcome to my garden. Let's see what's been going on this week, shall we? I'm using the camera today, so hopefully it isn't too blurry. So, yes, I have boxes in my garden because my tomatoes had outgrown my lights in the house and needed to come out. So I have started hardening them off. I put them out yesterday in the morning until the sun started to get on this side of the garden and then I moved them into the greenhouse and I still have to move that out yet so I'm going to be after this video but things are going well the herbs on this side are going good sweet peas haven't really started to do very much but hopefully they'll start to shoot up here throw in some more Herbs, there's a motherwort there, a yarrow there, nothing else down there yet. I'll swing around this way. The spinach is doing really well. Doing good. Lettuce, not so much, but the ones I started in the greenhouse have sp starting to sprout, so I'll be able to put some plugs in there. Kales going to seed. I'm going to let some go to seed and collect the seed, I think. Brassicas under the netting are doing good. My netting's holding up well. I've had no issues with it coming off with high winds. So, that's doing good. We'll see if I get any crops this year. Nothing yet in the next couple beds. Onions doing good. The bigger onions are ones that I left in from last year. The smaller ones are the ones that I started from seed. And radishes coming along. I'm going to do fermented radishes. They're really good in salads. And I love to co actually cook with them. I think they almost taste better cooked than they do raw. So i got to get around here. i got random blackberry plants coming up because over here is wild blackberries which always seem to invade my garden so I get them up here so I need to come in here and do some weeding like I do everywhere else in the garden garlic is doing really well it's almost up to my waist <laughs> Excited that my peas came up this past week. Both, both the two rows that I did earlier have come up. And I planted, planted them quite thickly, as you can see. They're on the trellis, I think they'll be okay. So that row has come up. And this row has come up. And then this row I planted later. And I don't know if you can see, but they are just starting to poke through. So they're a couple weeks behind. Oh, and look at here. i got to do better at my checking. There is a wine cap mushroom that I never saw. I really need to start checking the whole garden, not just where I planted them, because they randomly pop up in different places. That's the, I haven't seen any more since last week, so... No sign of carrots. Well, I have seen a few carrots. I was in here yesterday doing a little bit of weeding, and there's a few little ones starting to poke through. I've been diligently watering them every day. So hopefully in the next couple days, more will start to pop up. And some of the beets have started to pop up. You probably can't see them, but they're there. i got to get in here, and I started to weed down at the end. Yesterday, i got to get in here and do some more weeding, and hopefully not pull up the beets. Yeah, this is a, this is like the get on the hands and knees and use your fingers. The onion sets that I planted, I think have finally 
whatever was pulling them out has left them alone. I had them all nicely spaced and now they're all over the place, but eh, they'll still grow. There's a few that are kind of exposed I need to go through and I need to weed too. Over here are some random turnips, a few beets, and some salsify, which I've never grown before. That I didn't have a really good germination with those. I think it was just too cold in the greenhouse. So the ones I had, I just potted, planted them out here just to get them out of the greenhouse because I needed room. Nothing in the next couple of rows. There'll be beans, probably peppers in the last one. Just weeds. I gotta go through with my little hoe and weed them again. So they should get planted up in the next week. So let's venture down this way. Nothing on these trellises over here yet because they will house tomatoes and cucumbers and pole beans. No signs of any potatoes yet, but that doesn't surprise me because it's quite thick. I did get all of my if you can see wood chips gone. Sorry, my neighbor is mowing. Otherwise, I'd take you around back and show you my peach trees, but I'm hoping my friend will get me a delivery in the next week or so. I did get them all spread as far as here. Nothing's planted in here yet. They'll get my, um, oh, my squashes will go in here and possibly my corn. I can try something new with the corn this year and I'll fill you in later when I do that. Down here, my cherry bushes are so loaded with cherries. I really hope I get some. Be interesting to try them compared to an actual cherry tree, how they are. The grapevines are flower, or yeah, not flowering. They're, the leaves are coming out on them. They're so purple and they're so pretty. So, I gotta get in here and do some tying and trimming. Not enough time, of the, not enough hours of the day. The strawberries, so I have strawberries on this set on this around this apple tree and they are loaded with berries, which is exciting because strawberry is probably my favorite berry. I have some wild strawberries. If I'm pointing the camera in there, it's probably, they've actually taken over into the beyond the garden. Those might not be wild, those might be my regular ones. We'll see what happens when they but I have, I have a lot of wild ones around here too, so. Anyway, Comfrey's doing good. I need to um, kind of cut this one back over here because it's encroaching on my gooseberries. Probably wasn't a good spot to put that in. I may have to transplant the gooseberries. And do some weeding in this corner. There's a, if you can see, a couple more wine cut mushrooms. I knew they were there, but I didn't get them, so. But. And the strawberries down here have all blossomed out. So many strawberries. I really like this, planting my strawberries under my blueberries. They're doing really good. This blueberry bush, the flowers have opened up. This one is always earlier than the other ones. I don't know if it's just because it's the, the variety it is or it's on the corner here, but I always get the berries off of this one before the other ones. So there's a bunch of wild strawberries in here, which, and regular ones. So go down this way. I think I've decided I'm gonna put my sweet potatoes along this fence here and see how they do. Hopefully the vines I can kind of put up on the fence and that will um, keep them from going everywhere. My lone apple blossoms. Okay, let's venture over here. I was out here earlier and there was a little snake on the wood pile, but oh, there he is. I don't know if you can see him or not. I can get him into the camera. I think he's there. It's a little one, a little garter snake. I don't like snakes, but I do like them for bug control and mouse rodent control. So he's just kind of sunning himself on the warm wood chips there. We'll let him be. 
Over here on the ground I have some rhubarb leaves. Normally I just throw them in my compost pile, but I had quite a few because I got some rhubarb for a rhubarb crisp on Sunday and I gave my father a bag full of rhubarb and I gave my daughter some rhubarb and I figured oh, I'll just throw the leaves here to hopefully they'll get covered by wood chips so and the rhubarb is amazing I if you can tell I put my hand here how big the leaves are compared to my hand I had um, a stalk that I pulled Sunday that was from my fingertips to be on my elbow. Long, huge, and oh, they're so good. I gotta come out here and pull some more today to make some more rhubarb crisp because it's all gone. Oregano bush, not a plant, it's a bush. Needs a haircut. I've been eating my asparagus. That's doing really good. Hopefully you can see it, because I can't. We had quite a few on Sunday. I kind of saved some up for Sunday dinner. My daughter was here with her kids and husband, so we had that on Sunday. Need to get some more weeding done in here. My poor sage is buried in grass. My chives are thoroughly blossomed out here. Probably next week they'll be all blossomed and I will cut them and put them into some vinegar and make some chive blossom vinegar for salad dressing. So I wanted to slowly get some flowers put in here. I'm really excited about my lavender coming back. My little froggies for my daughter. Lavender's coming back there next to me. Get some more flowers put in here. I wanted to show you my chicken that my parents gave me a couple years ago. He was, he was getting faded. So I gave him a paint job this past winter and just got a sealer put on him so he can come outside in the garden with the rest of my little critters here. So, I'm not sure. This is getting ready to flower. I'm anxious to see what it is because I don't remember what I put here. But it's got some blossoms on it. It's starting to come, so we'll see what that is. Alright, let's check out the greenhouse. Lots going on in there. pile of stone that my husband had and he tried to dump it and it made a big mess in my yard so he has a job to do Friday <laughs> to get the stone out of my yard. Over here I have some flowers in the wheelbarrow that I was going to plant yesterday and I was too tired because I was out front pulling weeds so they're still there and these flowers were soaking in some water because they were getting a bit dry and I just left them there overnight. And if anybody's local and would like some herbs, I have mint, thyme, rosemary, and sage cuttings. Give me a holler and I'll make you a deal. So let's see what's going on in the greenhouse. I haven't watered in here yet. I've decided that down here is not a really good place for planting because well not good for planting when I have plants on top because they're not getting enough sun so you can see the spinach and the lettuce is really quite leggy so I'll have to remember that for I think it'll be okay when the um, shelf is down and there's nothing on it oh and I forgot to mention we have a shade cloth which is keeping it about 10 degrees cooler so Anyway, flower's doing good. I got some lavender there. My basil's doing well. I'm excited about what's down here because my spaghetti squash is up. Uh, I just did the dill so they're not up, but look at all the cucumbers. Uh, sweet dumpling squash I got from my friend last summer and save the seeds. I'm anxious to try that. 
Well, my white scallop squash is up. More cucumbers. So they're coming along. Here are my tomatoes. And over there I have my tomatoes and peppers. They look like they did well overnight in here, and I'll move them out when I get done here. I got some sugar pie pumpkins that have come up in the back corner there. Doing good. Let's see if there's anything else here that has come up yet. These are beans. Don't see them yet. They were after. More beans, it looks like. You can kind of see. Let's see if I can sure the focus. Okay. You can see where the ground is kind of split there. I think I'll probably have some beans popping up today. Actually, it looks like there's some coming up there, so I need to get these watered here. Okay, so the corn that I started has come up. I knew it was going to pop through soon. I was showing this disturbance here, so corn has popped up, and I'm going to talk more about corn. I'm sorry, this is very sure to avoid that. So I'll show you how I'm going to plant that hopefully in another week or so. I did some bunching onions in here and one little one starting right there. I started some hollyhocks and those are up. And let's see more beans. I got some more marigolds in the back. Some nasturtiums, spatula buttons, zinnias, and I haven't come up yet. And I have some lettuces. This is my lettuce tray. Hopefully more will come up. There's a few there that have come up. Hopefully more. So, alright. And then down here, I weeded this. Check out the beets. They're doing super well. A few random carrots in there that I didn't pull up. Kale I've been munching on in salads. So, so nice not to have to buy salad anymore. Alright, let's go take a check out the chicks. I'm going to shut the camera off here and come back to it. So here's the baby chickies. I turned off one of the heat lamps the other day. Because they seem to be doing well with just the one and the little hover brooder there. But they're definitely very cute. I gave a friend of mine some eggs for her daughter to put in her incubator, and her first one hatched last night, and it was a black one. And it looks like a penguin because it's got a white chest. Well, hello there. Did you decide <laughs> that you were left alone? But they're getting big. They grow fast. Look at they already have feathers on their wings. So, kind of interesting in the colors. Because I have several white ones in there, which I didn't think I had very many white eggs. So, it'll be interesting to see what kind of colors we end up with. They're pretty mild. They don't come racing for the food when I feed them. Actually, they don't eat a whole lot yet. I didn't even give them food today because they still have quite a bit in their thing. But they're all like, why are you talking? <laughs> so, that's the chicky update. I was going to show you my flower beds, but my neighbor is mowing. And we'll have to do that at another time. So... So that's it for the homestead at the moment. If I have a chance, I'll go do my flower beds. Otherwise, I will put them in next week, hopefully. So have a good week. We'll see you next time.